OK, so this problem is actually really not that bad, but it gets a lot of people because the reason is, one, they're talking, or two, they don't remember the equation of the, absent, of the asymptotes. Excuse me. So first of all, there's a couple things I want you guys to remember. First thing, vertical transverse axis. You guys should know off the bat, if you have a vertical transverse axis, what exactly is the equation of the hyperbola? So remember, vertical transverse axis, that means my a has to be under my y. So the equation I'm going to use is y minus k squared all over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Remember for hyperbola, again, we're writing the equation of hyperbola. That's what we're practicing today. Hyperbola is always a squared minus b squared. You guys can verify it's over there. But again, those equations aren't going to be on the board when you guys take your test, though, right? So we've got to make sure we notice. Remember, vertical transverse axis is always going to be a is under the y. The next thing that we need to make sure we know is it says it gives us the asymptote. So what does everything mean then that's on this asymptote? Well, if it's a vertical transverse axis, my equation for my asymptote, I have it memorized. If you don't have it memorized, you're not going to have the availability of it being up there. So I'd make sure that you review it a couple times, is making sure that you have y equals um, plus or minus a over b times x minus h plus k. Okay. All right. It's not going to be available to you guys on your EOC, so we've got to make sure that we have that equation. It's up there. You guys, there's only a vertical and a, there's only a vertical and a horizontal. The only difference is the A and B's are swapped. All right. Um, so now we just got to figure out what information that we have. Well, let's figure out our A, our B, our H, and our K. So what's nice about giving the equation of the asymptote, do you guys see how 5 is equal to A and 4 is equal to B? It's x minus h. So that's basically, that's your h and that's your k. Right? That's it? So I really have y minus, so like a negative 2. That's how I got the plus 2. I'm sorry, y, that's a 3. Sorry about that. y minus 3, because 3 is k, squared all over a squared, which is 5 squared minus x minus a negative 2 squared over b squared, which is 4 squared, equals 1. And therefore, I get y minus 3 squared over 25 equal, or minus x plus 2 over 16 equals 1. Good? Any questions? All right. Yes, Timothy. 